Hello and welcome to CJC Adventures. I'm Carl and today me and Craig are here. I want to take a look at some limestone. I'm not saying we're going to find any, but who knows. We're here in Dudley and it's the heart of where limestone was originally mined. Some of it's still there, some of it's gone, but we're going to find that out anyway. We're going to take a look around Limestone Walk and see what else we can find today on our trail of finding limestone, of course, here in Limestone Walk. So let's uh, see what we can find. This is quite woody along here and just take you through to some of the places that you really probably wouldn't really know where you are in Dudley. People think as Dudley is just a just a town and with a castle, but it does have a lot of hidden history and ghosts and all sorts of history. But you know, these parts probably hold more history than anything man has ever built. So where these pathways lead us, who knows? Lots and lots of trees. We've been here hundreds of years, probably thousands of them. Who knows? And Craig's here today. Help us find some limestone. Maybe try and be rich by finding it. Good trees are huh? green on this time of the year. I mean, August, are they? Yeah. What fencing is? Can't keep any animals in there. Yeah. That's just like by the caves, eh? Oh dear. Yeah. Bit more in the Lake? Yeah. There's a bit there. Does it? Yeah. I'm going to attack us around here, haven't I? Yeah, haven't I? <coughs> say, someone's going to attack us. Yeah, I'll do a chance on. <laughs> I'll be surprised. <laughs> Oh. Nice safe one walk towards you now. It's only near Dudley's, you like this. Come walking up that, uh, that yeah. trail there. Yeah. Come walking towards you. And... Yeah. They used to be full of water, didn't they? Yeah. Anything like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they're very. It's dried it all up, eh? Yeah. Is it? Huh? A squirrel up there. It might have been anti just like full of. It might have been just full of water, aren't they? What do you know? This is a squirrel up there. Looking after his nuts, eh? Yeah. Anybody in here, sir? <laughs> Looks like Ely. That's where they used to do all the lime steam around these parts. Take this part up here. Looks like Nate just overtook it after him. Yeah, well, he did. Oh, look. That's where it was cut into the rock, look. You see? And then you look at that part, look. That part was cut into the rock as well. Yeah. This was just a big hill many, many years ago, hundreds of years ago. If you look at it now, look, it's just, it's just where they've cut it away and just let nature take over it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mind you, it's 
Hopefully this will course way by the coast here and we so there's a tree uprooted that is. See the roots on you. It's just all uprooted look, it's just they always drop along pathways down there rather than anywhere else. It's all there. Uh, it's all dropping it on. Just <laughs> makes you think how long certain trees have fell down and what they become later. And that's what nature does. Like forks off either way, there it is. And you've got that trail, or you can go down this trail. Either way, both trails. <laughs> you see, if you actually look at the way that, that one tree is growing, honestly, it looks as though another couple of decades you might see that tree fall as well. It's quite a big tree as well. No, what do you think that could be? An old building what used to be there. Could be a whole an old bit of wall there. It's like something was built there, no, it was something. Built it there. Built across there somewhere. With Dick Tapin. Richard Tapin. He was already the robber, was he? Yeah, some pe people down here used to uh, go through where it was. Mm. Forest, and he walked through the forest, they did. And he obviously was dead years then, and he just got some car behind him. Mm. And he got some car back to look, he got some car. But now, but he was just a ghost. Oh. Yeah. Where was he based him? Yeah, in London, where was he? London, was he? Never where you live, is it? Like the history that you, that you like? No, no, no. You know, you could have gone. No, no, no. You could have gone sit where his car used to be. If you have any track marks still there or something. Young Kim yeah. died, though. Young Kim? Yeah. What happened to his ass? He died. Possibly. Oh, he's from York then, Dick Tapin. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I could see the countryside then. Oh. Hmm? Mm. Well, this is the cave, that's why they fence it off, right? Look, to stop you from. Mm. It's easy to give people to come across here and they'd, they'd fall in and nobody'd ever see him out anymore. <laughs> It's fenced off all the way along, lot. Yeah. Now they do um, tours there, don't they? Oh. It's a big area, though. Sherwood Forest is. Yeah. Very big area. It's actually strange the way nature actually takes over everything, eh? It's uh, yeah, in the, uh, these and clusters, um, Castle Hill Woods, are they called? Castle Hill Woods. Scraped out the zoo, is he? Doesn't. So somebody could go in there and get trapped and never be seen, no? no. It's all the fencing, it's all. 
You got the barbed wire there, don't you? There is a chance when you come round these parts, especially the woods part, that you're going to see a ghost. Because yeah. Dudley's full of ghosts, see? Yeah. Not a good many don't believe in them, but they have been seen round here, so. You keep your eyes peeled, they might see one. Got yeah. that tree, look. How long that's been there? If it was in the years. Oh. <laughs> it's actually a parrot that is on. Yeah. It's definitely a parrot. <laughs> the zoo's there, eh? There's one hell of a drop. You should look. We have had quite a lot of warm weather. As I mentioned, you can actually hear a parrot because just up here is the back of Dudley Zoo, in which all of the bird enclosures are. And that's where they're kept. Actually, have parrots in Dudley unless you have them as a pet. That's a parrot enclosure, look, just up there. That's it. That's the bed house, look, with its green stars. Yeah. It's probably feeding time for me. Yeah. Let's see, you've got all this fencing around and you've got a big hill at the back. This is the zoo grounds. What is that? Oh, it's Paris, but what's that other sound? Look at that, and it's all tumbled away, look. You get them trees eventually, and the ground just gives away. It's just. That's why the trees fall. They run out of space to, to grow, see, and then they just collapse. They just, they just collapse onto the ground. Mm -hmm. It is a cave, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's fenced off, eh? That's Barney Rubble lives here. Fred Flintstone. Hello, man. Oh, that's the zoo, look. Oh, look at the mask, huh? Ah. Look, that's where they're at, so we can get back up there. I think it's because of the diseases to the animals, oh, eh? Right? And diseases to the owl, that's why we do it there. That's it, oh. I'm going to tell you, it's male and Madagascar, so at least Madagascar, look in there. No. It's desert. Well, I know. Probably the different ball, eh? So it was a steep path, do you? You have to hold on for dear life all the way down. Oh. A tree. Oh. Come right out the ground, you know? Oh. The four roots, eh? What's happened then? Because when they want to bonk like that, they just give way down. Oh, so. It's probably what's happened, do you? In windy weather. Been playing swing rope, don't you? Oh, okay. so we took a boy tat, trainer. Huh? Oh. <sighs> right, there's like a cabin in the woods there. Yeah. See? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I've been here. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, that's 
Det är rätt gång kejen. Ja, <laughs> det var roligt. Ja, det gjorde film. Ja. Nu sitter vi nu och kämpar på den. Ja, ja. Det är en blå bell wood. This is crazy. We're a good blue bell picking there. You ready for it? Where did you live be? See the blue bells, I'm normally crazy. You know the blue bells? Usually around these parts. So. But as I say, it's got a bit of time of the year to see a mate. You know, so. so we all do the blue bells, wasn't it? So the gold across here. Isn't it? This is the walking trail to the Bluebell Woods. It's quite desolate, beautiful, but very creepy as well. Mm -hmm. What sort of plant that is? Benjamin Rocky coming up the steps in Philadelphia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Rocky now. <laughs> the age is out. <laughs> Running up the M. We just walked all up the bay, mate. <laughs> Breathless now. It's all got the remnants we all cut out, eh? They probably will in time, although they just tend to, you know, when the ground comes away. Could fall out of the while we're walking under them. A lot of these trees are black, you know. Mm. There you go. That's where the fossils would be, Craig. So there's probably some in there, aren't they? Just I know you're allowed to use your pick and shovel, but... Yeah, yeah. Seven Sisters Caves, isn't it? It's one of the fences here. It's what stops you from going there. Yeah. You can go straight to there, do you? Something to do with fossils there. Fossilisation. Yeah. Right, climbing up on that edge there. Yeah. I think he is a girl they used to. They used to do it. We could all the way up there, look. Miles and miles and miles. You really would have no chance in the world falling up there. I mean, if you look all along here, look, it's the landscape's changed here. The landscape's changed here. Yeah. Mm. Now part of England are more geological feature brought together in a small compass than in the environs of Dudley, in which their characters have been more successful, developed by the labours of practical men. So it was all created like this one. Yeah. Where can we? It was all brought together. This is actually one of Seven Sisters. You could actually walk down here many years ago, but it's a bit dangerous these days. Oh, looks pretty strong, eh? Oh, they do. 
the deal. It's it's to stop it from collapsing. Oh, it's support. It's supportive. It's where the landscape changes. Oh. I mean, them and like there's teal back of there, look. Yeah. Them and the teal caves. That's that's the one, three, four, five, six, and the other ones around the corner. Yeah. Seven. That's a seven sisters cave. Yeah. That's the way it's. Uh, I mean, looking at that one, like you can just about see that was like where the cave is. They've been filled in so. Going back many years, you would actually see people around these parts continuously digging and digging and digging. And it used to be with a pick and a shovel, but there's obviously no tractor equipment or anything like that. It's all done by hand. And it's just marvellous now that we can see this in its glory. And obviously, fossils are there to be taken still. And there's still many of them in the ground, as you would expect. But, as you've seen, the Seven Sisters, uh, many years ago, as I've mentioned, you know, you could actually go into the caves, but these days they are filled in. They can easily be accessed again by unfilling them, but they're there for safety reasons these days. So, just up there, as I say, the Seven Sisters, if you come in, it is a really beautiful spot to see. And if you ever visit Dudley in the Black Country, do come and see them. A wishing well tree out there. I'll tell you the official name, but they say you'd need rope ladders to get down there. That's actually Birmingham. This is a BT tower. Just there. Dudley Castle. Town Centre. Real. Named a pub after him. Imagine we put the name from what was tipped to. Everything's in there, more that's in there. That really is. John Dudley, was it? Hey. No, that's where Dudley come from. I've been having a meeting there now by the Seven Sisters. You might be born in 1914. Uh -huh. They look much different now, just like that view. Except there's a lot more smoke in the area. Oh, uh oh. But there is the actual Birmingham downtown area. And then you know Dudley just here in the castle. And that's it for today on CJC Adventures. Thanks for watching and discovering if we can find fossils or not. We come close, but not to no avail. No, sadly not. But we did see the Seven Sisters Caves. Quite close up, didn't we? Closest we're going to get, actually. Until next time on CJC Adventures, take care of yourselves. Please remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Click on the subscribe icon, click on the bell, you'll be notified when each video on this channel is uploaded. For those of you who have watched, liked and subscribed, thank you. It means a lot. Until next time, all the very best.